Pocahontas, we are going to discuss the parts of the atom today. I remember John mentioned this atom. Tell me, what do you remember? I know there is a proton, neutron, and an electron. Oh, and a nucleus. This is good that she remembers. I do not have to worry right now about overloading the working memory. Let us start by using the expertise reversal effect. Remember we can change which effect we use. Very good then can you tell me where each part goes? No I never can remember that part. Can you help me remember? Pocahontas will be using the borrowing principle to obtain knowledge. This will eliminate guessing or random answers. Since she has an understanding that the atom has parts. But needs to remember where each part goes I will use the borrow principle. Let me show you, Pocahontas, let me tell you a story. Your father who we will call the proton lives in his teepee called the nucleus. Yes, I understand this. You will be the neutron and you live in a teepee also called the nucleus. Do you follow me? Yes, I do. My father is called the proton and I am called the neutron. We'll live in teepees called nucleus. Right? Yes, that is right. Your working memory is doing great. Let us go on. Now there are the vultures we will call them electrons. What I am doing is providing redundant information with the information I want learned by presenting it in a different form. This unnecessary additional information is given in the form of a story. Mr. Newton, may I ask why are the vultures electrons? Good question my dear. The vultures represent the electrons because your father and you do not want them in your TP the nucleus. Right? No way do I want that filthy bird in our home, the nucleus. Pocahontas has a concept of teepees. People and birds and knows people live in teepees and birds live outside of them. By renaming the parts of the atom to something she is familiar with, she is able to pull information from her long-term memory to her working memory. She now has a visual aid in placing the parts of the atom correctly. We have used explanatory text since she is still a novice. I get it, Mr. Newton. I now know the proton and neutron live in the nucleus and the electrons are on the outside. Yes, Pocahontas you understand. Just one more thing the sky is called the electron cloud and that is where the electrons must stay. That will be easy to remember since I see the vultures circling the clouds. Thank you Mr. Newton for your help. Teachers must be careful when deciding how to teach information. Students can have their working memory overloaded and learning will be impeded. Thank you for your time and God bless all.